All right, Shane from uh, Western Iowa Tech, and today we're in the lab here at the college. I saw a video where someone took a piece of bread and removed a blind bearing, and so we're gonna attempt that. So Jesse, this is your motor. We're gonna go ahead and try and get that bearing out of there right now with bread. So from what I saw, you just take, actually I'm gonna go to a smaller punch to start, and you take and you just start shoving bread in there. I'm cutting up this video to make it shorter, but you see we had to just keep doing this over and over and over. We had pretty close to 20 minutes or so into doing this whole job from start to finish, but we were trying to figure it out and locate tools and things like that, but uh, what, what a fun experiment. At this point, once you stuff the bearing full of bread through the uh, inside diameter hole, you're going to see that we take a punch really close to the size of that hole and do the actual pressing out if you will. So the smaller punch allowed me to fill it quick and the bigger one was when I would drive it. Any thoughts? I think it's going to work. <laughs> Dang, with or without that student's confidence we were going to move forward. We got creative because the bread kept just pushing right through the races telling us it wasn't a sealed bearing on the other side. So I put a flat washer and then a socket to kind of pack that bearing and, and help out it's with it. a little it. proud now? Yeah, just a little bit. I'm going to go back over there. Back. <laughs> it's working. You can see we're making progress here. You might uh, yeah, you can see you might need to come on this side. Get down there and you can see we're proud of the surface now. Ha! In the video I watched, it must have been a sealed bearing there, so because it walked up really fast or whatnot. But we got creative; we didn't give up, right? So what we decided to do was go ahead and pack the bearing itself. And then we just, you know, threw a wash over there, and that that wasn't even enough. And then just kept thinking about it, put a socket over there, and just with some thumb pressure, I was able to go ahead and still drive through, and we were able to walk it up. More than anything, it was just fun to play around and experiment, wasn't it? Where would you ever use this? So you're saying you wouldn't? A camping trip. Yeah, you're saying trip. on a camping trip, okay? On, on the side, side of the road. road. <laughs> Guys, seriously, I think this is still fun, and I think what it teaches you is it gets you to think outside the box to think about physics, right? I mean, if we shove pressure underneath there, where this trick I've seen used is removing snowmobile clutches, and they'll use water. They'll push, uh, they'll put, they'll take a, a snowmobile engine, tip it upside down, put water down where the bolt goes, and then put the, the clutch removal tool in there. And when they thread it in, the water can't go anywhere, creates pressure, and pushes the clutch off. So, understanding physics and being a motorcycle mechanic or any mechanic for that nature is freaking awesome. This was fun. I thought it was cool to try this out and try it yourself. See what kind of luck you have with it. All right, man, make it a great day and keep wrenching.